I've got no idea. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Yeah, I Alright. I want everyone here to imagine blackness, an empty space, a void, the blackness of nightmares, of endless abysses, of black holes longing to pull you in, to draw you towards them, away from everything you know. Now in this blackness, there is nothing, because it is blackness, but there is a little pale, soft, gentle, orange speck, and is floating alone through the void. And on the other side, of which it does not know, is a pale blue, peaceful speck of colour floating. Now they float alone and time ticks by. Well actually, perhaps it does not. Perhaps time does not exist here. For it is nothingness. It's just blackness, it's a void, it's abyss, it's a chasm of darkness that pulls you in. And here, this blue, this pale, gentle blue, and this orange, gentle, calm, colour, speck, they collide, and they meet, <laughs> <laughs> and together, they dart endlessly back and forth, <laughs> dancing, frolicking, <laughs> frolicking through the abyss, waltzing, and there they meet, they see each other, two creatures formed in colour, and there they just walk around and waltz around and dance around and be free <laughs> amongst this void. And their dance is such a dance, such a waltz, such love, that the darkness and everything in it is so inspired, it just starts spinning and everything just starts forming. And matter and collision and dust and formation just starts occurring. And before you know it, planets are forming and everything is happening. <laughs> and time actually now exists and it ticks away. And they are inspired. <laughs> 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 and they're inspired, and so the universe, the universe starts creating, it just starts circular motion, swirling about, creating. And out of that forms planets and the galaxy and systems and everything you know. But that orange speck, that gentle pale colour, just floating about in that dark room, back and forth endlessly with the one that knew, the pale blue, gentle blue. They just waltz. But because they inspired life and because time was born and because it ticked away, they couldn't exist. They were pulled apart, you see. They were pulled apart from each other in such agony and such pain. And Why? Such chaos. Well, you see. <laughs> Who said that actually? Okay, well you see, because their love was so great, perhaps things that saw them from a state came against them and pulled them apart, because for life to exist, they must be apart because they create life. You see, they were pulled. The blue from the orange, him from her. And there we have, he was destined to a different fate and so was she. He formed a planet. Well, not a planet, he formed a heavenly body, I suppose, something, oh, I don't know, perhaps he became a burning bright fire of desire, I don't know, but he became the sun, you see, and that blue, that pale blue gentleman, <laughs> <laughs> he became the moon, right? And in order for life to exist, because they inspired life from their dance and waltz of love, he became the sun, she became the moon, and he burned such a fierce fire of love, pale, well, it was no longer pale, it was bright, 
intense, fierce oranges and reds <laughs> burning. And hers was such a blue of fertility, you see. And anyway, they were pulled apart. For them to be put apart meant for us to exist. And she became the moon and he became the sun. And she controlled the tides and he controlled life. And it's kind of depressing when you think about it. <laughs> 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 no, because she could never see him ever again. And she could only reach out with fingers and words, and she touched us with her gentle blue soft rays of fertility, and she controlled the tides and the sun. Well, it reached out with so well, fierce, I suppose, oranges and reds and light and life, and we were all born. And so the sun and the moon, they never ever saw each other again in order for us to exist. And the thing is, they long to see each other again, but they're always in front and behind each other every single second of the day. When one rises, one falls, when one falls, one rises, and they can only ever see the works of the other. And so they're always desperately longing to be with each other. And the moon, she was in such love, she was in such sorrow, that the skies that we know are filled with her children. She gave birth to the stars, those bright lights upon the veil, blanket of black that clouds the night. They're the children. And they try to keep her company, but she's forever thinking and dreaming and longing to see the one she knew, the one she was once a part of. But all he can do is rise and set with time while it ticks away forever, haunting him in the shadows of the desert. Did you guys enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. Cool, because I have no memory of what I just said. <laughs>